Hey, everyone. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm George Ford, and I'm going to be your 2023 class president. Since I've been in this position for two years, I'd like to talk about what our class office has accomplished so far. Our freshman year's office helped create a homecoming that I was very lucky to be a part of. It was a blast. We brainstormed the English for Spirit Weeks, which our class unequivocally showed up. I'm talking to you, Scott. We planned events for pet rallies, but we undoubtedly made a name for ourselves. Along with this, our office started to create and promote fundraisers for our class, and the process that goes with it. Unfortunately, our year was cut short due to COVID, but we did an amazing job with the limited time we had. Then we came back our sophomore year later on. We almost tripled our funds from freshman year, despite the limitations and restrictions throughout the year. It was our class office who brought Chipotle to sponsor WHS. It was our class office who brought Kona Iceland at the end of the year, even though safety protocols played a major role to doing so. Our class office has created a bond throughout the past two years during the experiences we've had with each other. And we're more than ready to get going this year and give our class the high school experience I know we all deserve. The most hyped up pet rallies are going down this year. The pet, the power of things are making no turn. We're going to bring back Kona Ice. A whole time is going down like no other in our first set of prom, all to ourselves. Now, prom requires a lot of planning, number punching, and hard work. And through our experience with countless other events the past couple of years, our class office is prepared to make it unforgettable. Because you are all with the theme. We'll ensure the majority of our class is happy with prom, and same goes for homecoming. You see, I've had, I've had a few people ask me what makes me credible to be in this position. Now, in addition to the experience that I've gained with being a class president the past two years, I've also had the privilege of learning under some terrific class presidents, such as Don Picciano, Ethan Kiersgaard, and Katie Lerone. I'm also very active outside of school, whether I'm at work, playing basketball for one of three teams, making memories with my friends, spending time with my family, or helping those in need, I'm finding ways to enhance the lives of those around me. For example, I volunteer to help the Champions Basketball Program, Top Soccer Program, Swim Anglerfish Foundation, the Special Olympic Swim Team, and I've been countless hours to my family run foundation to help people living with autism. The purpose of these organizations is to bring joy to kids who experience things differently than most people. Overall, we help people to live their best possible lives. I have personally delivered iPads, sensory equipment, and scholarships to kids in need whose families aren't necessarily in a situation where they can purchase those things themselves. The words and messages that these families have shared with me have opened my eyes to the different worlds that we live in. And through my time meeting new kids and their families and learning more about the obstacles they face every day, it's allowed me to learn more about empathy. I've learned to be there for those during things that I may not fully comprehend. I've learned to understand the fact that I simply can't understand what some people go through every day. But sometimes it just means a lot to be there for them to talk to and to comfort them as best you can. I'm so grateful for all these experiences because it shaped who I am today. And today I want you guys to know that it's my mission to give us the most amazing junior year possible. Guys, I want to have fun this year. Look what I can't get. I put my face on movie posters and just stuck around the school. I just had pictures of my face that said Vote George and Comic Sans. I think I can put one upside down. I, put one upside down. I want to let you guys know that I'm ready to have fun this year. I want to have fun with the campaign. I know you guys all deserve to have fun. This is our first year of high school. When you think about it. I want to make the most of it. So in the time that I've been up here, I hope I've been able to end your vote. And if any of you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come up and talk to me. I'd be more than happy to sit down with any one of you to have a conversation. So thank you all for listening, and I hope you're always excited for this year's event.
I promise I'll try my hardest to make every event enjoyable to everyone. I'll listen to all my fellow classmates, you guys of course, and I'll do my best in leading the student council. As a former member of the student council, I will admit that previous events have been a little lackluster. But it's a new year, so it's time to up the ante. The world is that poster and it's up to us to see the opportunity. Let's set the bar for future classes. Thank you. Hey everyone, it's actually good to see everyone here. Alright, so for those who don't know me, my name is Erin Murphy, and I'm going to be this year's class president. Being in the school district since kindergarten has allowed me the privilege of watching our class grow and develop as people. I've watched friendships form and people change, but the one thing I've ever believed that I've always admired is our resiliency. This train of ours is pivotal in our bounce back post pandemic, and as your class president, I promise I'll make that transition seamless. One way I've been doing this is by prioritizing the mental health of all students in the school. Over the past six months, I have worked with countless nonprofits as an advocate, most of which have offered to come to the school and mental health events. And as your class president, I will get that ball rolling and start the conversation. Ooh. <laughs> I am also currently taking advocacy training at the State House, so advocating for your needs will never be a matter of if, but a matter of when. All of the joints parts of junior year require fundraising, which is my forte. But seven weeks ago, I became a team captain of the fundraising team for the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. I raised $3,600 individually, and my team has raised $6,900. My team and I have earned the spot as the top fundraiser across the state. Money is going to be a pivotal part in creating incredible events for our junior year, and if you don't raise your class president, you will not be disappointed in our monetary success. As we all know, our time at Illinois High School is very precious. It is important to be grateful for these moments that will soon become memories. You may not know it yet, but I promise that you will miss Mr. A trying to control six classes for an auditorium study, or if you want to get from your entire American class of stones that you all failed you all failed the test. Even though we are only halfway through, the rest of our time here will fly by. I want to capture small moments every day through pictures from social media, keep balance dispos, and I think it'd be very special to expand that so everyone can contribute into capturing their own special moments. I want all of us to look back at high school with no regrets and with endless happy memories to reflect on. We all have grown and changed since freshman year, and I'm so excited to watch the potential of this great unfold. As class president, I will not let that potential go to waste. Instead, I will push it to prosper into bigger things. Hello, my name is Evie Snell. Many of you already know me. I am running for class treasurer. To start off, I would like to make it clear that I am running for this position not for the check mark on my college application, but rather the betterment of the Wyndham High School community. Not only am I a student here, but I am also an athlete. I have learned the importance of hard work and putting in the effort in order to reach your goals from my experience with my team. With my team and the organization we represent, I have been able to gain hands-on experience in the type of planning and coordination it takes to keep things running. This skill is incredibly important when it comes to student council. The goal of class treasurer is to fundraise for school activities like prom, class gifts, and class trips. I care deeply about these activities and want them to be as much fun as possible so that everyone has an enjoyable time. My goal is that my teammates and I will be able to work together to raise adequate funds to ensure an amazing prom and homecoming for all of us, as well as directly represent my peers in important conversations that affect us all. Together, we are going to make junior year time for fun. Thank you so much for your consideration, and I hope to work with you all soon. Hello, fellow classmates. As you hopefully know, my name is Brady Bear, and I'm running for your class treasurer. You may know that for the past four years, I've been elected as your treasurer, and I hope to keep this success going. I'd like to continue this and be a leader for our class for our junior year. One of the main things I'll do as class treasurer is promote the financial interest. This will include fundraisers, which will lead for us to be able to do good activities throughout our senior year. The activities that we will do include homecoming, prom, and a bunch of different spirit weeks. I feel like this fits me well because I have great relationships with my peers and the faculty at the Wyndham High School. If you want to make the right decision, vote for experience and dedication. Vote for G-Lord. Welcome to 2023. How are you this morning? So I am Emerson Caracito, and I am one of the candidates for class rep slash officer at large for this school year. And as we go into our junior year, it is more important than ever to have a student council who will do whatever they can for you, the class. And it's of the utmost importance to have a student council who is dedicated to providing the best school year ever. As we emerge from the pandemic,
that that we have shown an extraordinary amount of resilience. And for those of you who know me, we know that I'm resilient, hardworking, and sociable. But also the thing about me that I feel would be beneficial for the student council for the class of 2023 is that in addition to being hardworking, I also know how to have a good time. So I will put everything I have into planning the most epic events ever for our junior year, especially coming back from a pandemic. And as you know, my main passion at least from the main my money for student council is to help all you guys out, obviously, but also because I really want to plan the school dances. As you guys know, nobody, I think I'm pretty safe in saying that nobody loves school dances more than me. So I'll put everything I have into planning the most If my father always says to me, the difference between extraordinary and ordinary is that little bit extra that you put in. And every day, I have been committed to putting in that little bit extra for you. like no pressure or everything, but regarding that, we also have other huge events like junior prom. And being a part of student council, it is our job to make events like these happen. So as one of your class representatives, it is my job to fulfill your duties by representing your interests and being your voice. I can guarantee that I can live up to my responsibilities as a class representative. And if you elect me for this position, I will be sure to be a guide to any of your concerns. As for the other class officers, I will serve my role specifically towards assisting and helping you with your certain duties. That way, we can be able to create a stress-free, enjoyable environment in the student council. Therefore, this will allow the class officers to be able to work together as a structured team in order to make this year better than last year's COVID fiasco for you all. Thank you so much. Katie Durkin for publicist. 